I thought of this text here at the beginning of John's Gospel. In fact, John is the one who speaks more to us about light than any of the other scripture writers, New Covenant scripture writers, at any rate. He does so in his Gospel, and he, he begins his, his first epistle talking about us walking in the light. God is light in him. There is no darkness at all. <clears throat> the beginning of the gospel it says, In him was life, and life was the light of men. The light shineth in darkness, the darkness did not comprehend it. The true light, that was the true light, which lighteneth every man that cometh into the world. So this is, the, the, this revelation of the sun we've spoken about today many times in different perspectives. This revelation of the sun is what our brother has, uh, has declared to us, what Jesus has declared to us in his own words. He declared to those who, uh, uh, who heard him, those who, uh, whom the Father gave to him. And, uh, of course, those whom the Father gave to him, they believed what he said. So when we think about his coming, I am come to do these things. Well, these are some of the things that I thought about. Submit to his presence. I'm come. We submit to his presence. Now, now many were not willing to do that. Many of us in his audience, many of those who listened to him were not willing to submit to his presence. Yeah. Uh, this, is the, this is the son of Joseph and Mary in mm. Nazareth. We, we know his family. We know his parents. In fact, it, there was a time when his brothers refused to submit, didn't they? Some family members came, take possession of him, thought he'd lost his mind. Yeah. Submit to his presence. And we remember that he said, I'm with you always. This is right before he departed. He said, I'm with you always. Well, remember when Peter stood up among the 120? said we need to choose a replacement for Judas who went to his own place and they put before them the two and they prayed to the Lord now Jesus was the one who appointed the twelve wasn't he well he appointed this other one also he, he appointed the replacement they asked him Lord show us whom you have chosen well, now they were praying to the father but Jesus is the one who administers the father's will and so he directed these things and the lot fell to Matthias he was with them there. And not long after that, of course, they were threatened. Brother Tony mentioned the text where they were taken before the Sanhedrin, taken before the council and threatened about healing this man. Preach no more in his name. Peter said, there's no other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. And when, after being threatened again, they went back to their people and they prayed. And the place shook with his presence. He was there with them. And, of course, he passed judgment on Ananias and Sapphira, didn't he? Peter said, you've not lied to men but to God. And he fell dead. And a few hours later, she fell dead. He was there. He was there among them. So submit to his presence and submit to his judgment. Now, there in that John 9 text, he talked about, just for judgment, I came into the world. Again, his opponents were not willing to submit to his judgments. The declarations, the announcements that he made about righteousness and godliness and truth, they, they weren't going to submit to that. Who gave you the authority? Where did you get this authority? Yeah. They said he passed judgment twice on the temple area and cast out the marketplace, cast out the money changers. They were not going to submit to him. Well, they were protecting their place, yeah. weren't they? <laughs> oh, yes, and our nation as well. Submit to his judgment. He said, the flesh profits nothing. Now, it's our brother Paul, we know, who expounds that thought for us. But Jesus is the one who posited it in the first place. The flesh profits nothing. And, of course, he demonstrated this in his mighty works. Who could help these people? The woman who'd been bleeding for 12 years and had spent everything she had on the doctors, nobody could help her. Flesh profits nothing. Why, well, all it took was the hem of his garment, wasn't it? Or the people that followed him across the countryside for three days and ate up everything they had. 
And if you sent them away, some would faint on the way. Flesh profits nothing. He fed them. Then the next day is when he said these words. <laughs> He'd fed their bodies, but then he tells them, the flesh profits nothing. You seek me because you ate the loaves and were filled. Seek the food that endures to eternal life. See, again and again and again, he, he stated these judgments from on high, the things that he had seen and the things that he heard. That's what he said to Nicodemus there in John 3, 11. We speak that which we have seen. We tell that which we have heard. Life is in him, you see. Submit to his judgment and submit to his leading, as Brother John reports to us and expounds for us there at the beginning of his epistle. God is light in him. There's no darkness at all. Walk with him. Uh, remain in the light. Abide in the light. Don't leave the light. Stay in the light. Follow him. Walk with him in the light. In fact, our Savior said this just a few verses from, from one of Brother Tony's primary texts here in 1236. He said this, while you have light, believe in the light that you may be children of the light. So there's that connection for us, if you will. That's where we plug into the receptacle, you might say. Plug your, plug your cord into it. Believe. Plug into it, and you'll have access to the power then. That power will flow. It will work in you. So that's the exhortation for us then, brethren. Submit to his presence, submit to his judgment, submit to his leading in these things in which he is the light. There's no other place to go. Amen. It's not in the politicians, is it? It's not in the business world. It's not in the academic or education world. It's not in the financial world. Any one of those could fall apart at any moment. They change. People lose their jobs. A big business picks up and move someplace else and everybody that's there has lost their jobs now, got to get job training, got to find something different. All of those, uh, all of those retirement plans and so forth, well, they're gone. They're gone, you know, or something happens to you. Maybe nothing happens to the business, but something happens to you and it's gone. Something out of your control. So submit to him in these things. And we'll become then sons of light. You have the light in you, and you, you'll always know where you're walking, won't you? You won't have to fall in the darkness, stumble in the darkness anymore. So good things. Thank you, brother. Glad to hear about these things. Be recall some of these things and think further about them. You have some other comments then, brother?